Hi viewers, welcome to the channel Crazy for Dean. Uh, the topic of uh, discussion in this uh, video is uh, PL SQL Red Concept, as you can see over here. Uh, we will uh, see the theoretical aspect of the Red Concepts uh, in this uh, particular topic. Uh, we will see uh, the practical aspect of the implementation of the Red Concepts in the uh, following uh, videos. Uh, this is the fourth video in the series of uh, the PL SQL classes and uh, the links of the other three uh, have been uh, given in the description box below and so I will advise you to go to the description box and uh, also watch those uh, uh, three videos uh, related to the PL SQL uh, classes. Uh, now, uh, we will answer our first question. Uh, what is a rape cursor? So you can see over here, I have asked this question over here. Uh, what is actually the rape cursor? Rape cursor basically is an acronym. It is a short form, as you can see over here, of reference to a cursor. So rape cursor basically is a variable. It is a PL SQL data type used to create a cursor type variable. So it is actually, it actually generates a reference that is a pointer to the cursor and so it is a reference type variable and uh, so it is reference to a cursor has been acronym as red cursor. That is the uh, only logic behind naming it uh, as a red cursor and uh, you will see that Red cursor basically is a two step process as uh, we proceed into this video. I will show you that the first step you will have to declare a type and then you have to declare a data type of that particular type which you have declared and so it is a two step process. And uh, what advantage do you get with the PLSQL red cursor is that uh, you create a cursor variable just like a variable can be uh, assigned multiple values at different times in the same program. It is possible that a cursor variable allows you, it can be associated with multiple select statements and so is dynamic in nature. As far as the static cursor is concerned, which is hard-coded cursor that you put in the declaration section of the PLSQL block, the statement remains the same here because it is a variable at different times as the program uh, proceeds, you can actually assign different statements depending upon your requirement at different stages of the execution of the program uh, to this uh, cursor and so it actually provides some kind of uh, dynamic nature to the uh, program uh, with reference to the cursor. Now there are three types of red cursor as you can see over here the types of red cursor strongly typed that is called as strong cursor then weakly typed called as weak cursor and then the built-in type provided by the oracle that is called as sys underscore red cursor so these are the three types strong weak and sys underscore red cursor so uh, these are the three types now what actually these three types mean to us so strongly typed red cursor. So here you can see strongly typed red cursor. Uh, what are the properties of the strongly typed red cursor? They have a fixed return type. When you declare this cursor, as you will see with the example, uh, as we proceed into this video, uh, you have to actually declare what it is going to return. But remember that. Always whatever is written is a record type or percent row type. So return type must be record type or a percent row type. Uh, there is another video which explains the record type and the percent row type. The link of which will be provided in the description box. And uh, you can visit the link to know more about what percent type or record type is. Percent row type or record type is. And you see that. Uh, there are two aspects of the red cursor, strongly typed red cursor that it has a fixed return type that we have to mention in the definition of the cursor itself 
and that return type must be a record type or a percent row type uh, uh, you have to specify. Now, the generalized syntax for the strongly typed recursive is simple that you have to do in the declaration section of the PLSQL block type. There is some type name you have to provide as per the naming conventions followed by the oracle. So type, that is type name over here, some name you have to provide is ref person and then return and some return data type which will be either a record type or a percent row type. So that is how the basic declaration that is the generalized declaration statement you have to use in the uh, declaration section and then as I told you it is a two step process. In the first step, you have declared the type, but type in itself does not do anything, as you know. Uh, for example, you have got the where character type to uh, deal with the strings, but the type does not do anything. You have to declare a variable of that type so that you can assign the string to the variable and not to the type. And that exactly here you have to also declare a variable v underscore car, that is the variable of the particular type name that you have declared over here. So that is how actually. Uh, you know, this is a two step process as you can see over here. So, first you declare the type and then you declare a variable of that particular type. Uh, then, to associate a select statement to the cursor variable or to the uh, red cursor, you have to use the syntax like open vcar, that is this variable which you have declared of the red cursor type. So, open vcar for and then any select statement, absolutely any select statement that uh, you can normally use as a cursor in the PLSQL block uh, can be written over here. So uh, that is how basically it uh, becomes flexible so that you can associate this VCAR for different select statements and different types, uh, different times in the execution of the program. Uh, I have given an example over here. You can see that I will read out this example type t underscore emp ray so that is the name for this type t underscore emp ray is ref cursor return emp percent row type so now this is the strongly typed cursor because now this cursor is only able to work over a select statement which will return a row from the emp table and no other table or no less than the all the columns in the EMP table. So that is why basically the return data type says EMP percent row type as you can see over here it has to be semicolon over there. <coughs> so you see that this is actually a strongly typed cursor because it is uh, going to return or the compulsion of this cursor is to return the entire row of the EMP table. So, we call it as a strongly typed cursor, that is the example. Now, we got here, you have got the weakly typed red cursor, strongly typed and weakly typed, everything else is same, but the only difference is that it does not have any fixed return type associated. There is no fixed return type you are required to specify in the definition of this cursor, in the declaration of this uh, red cursor and so it is extremely flexible so it can be used to open any select statement so at one point of time you may uh, use it for fetching the data from the EMP table another time you may use it to fetch the data from the DPT table so there is no fixed SQL select statement uh, required to be associated because there is no one particular percent row type or percent uh, sorry record type uh, variable uh, record type uh, data type associated with the definition of the uh, weekly type cursor. So it imparts uh, more flexibility uh, than the strongly type red cursor. Now the declaration is actually more or less the same except that this part is not there that is return with the return data type otherwise it is very simple type type name again the same is red cursor that's it and the declaration is finished 
there is no return return time part over okay over here and so they, this is uh, not required to uh, return a row from a particular table uh, and uh, that is why this is uh, we are calling as a weekly time uh, cursor then everything else is same uh, we have to declare the variable v underscore car and then the type name over here whatever type name that you are using so that this variable will become the rate cursor to be associated with any of the uh, select statement then I am giving an example of this declaration type t underscore ray is ray cursor as you can see that there is no return data type uh, associated with it and so this uh, t ray this uh, variable uh, sorry this uh, type can be uh, used to declare a variable to be associated with any select statement made beyond weekly table, made beyond weekly table, made beyond separate table, made beyond any table for that matter. Now, <clears throat> as you can see that when we are dealing with the strongly typed or weakly typed red cursor, it is actually a two-step process in which we are required to declare first a type and then a variable of that type. So it is a two-step process. Uh, Oracle has actually simplified this to a much extent to a larger extent and has provided us with a built-in sys underscore ray cursor so that is actually the third type sys underscore built-in this is actually a built-in type and remember that it is actually a weak ray cursor which has been provided as a built-in data type by the oracle we don't need to perform the first step of the declaration of type no type declaration is required moreover you can directly declare the variable of this type and associate it with any uh, select statement as it is of the type uh, weekly type red cursor variable which is provided to us by the oracle system itself in the built-in form uh, actually the built-in sys underscore rev cursor is more suitable for uh, the procedures in which we have to actually pass the rev cursor. It is possible that the rev cursor can be passed as an argument to the procedures and functions. We will see such examples in the following uh, uh, videos as they come up. You keep on visiting this channel and uh, we will have such examples also. Actually, Oracle provides a lot of features, and uh, those features, if you use in the application development, then your application development uh, can be extremely rich and uh, uh, you see very convenient to be used for your user and flawless. So you need to understand all these concepts very uh, easily, uh, sorry, very carefully and very strongly. So the built-in ray cursor has got these three properties. You know, there is no type declaration over here. You can see V underscore car has been just declared as sys underscore ray cursor. No type declaration is there. And then we can just say open weaker for some select statement. So this is how actually the three types of ray cursors are there. So guys, uh, we come to the uh, end of this uh, video. Uh, now uh, we are going to uh, in the following videos uh, demonstrate each of these uh, rail presses uh, with uh, live examples and so uh, you will have to subscribe to the channel to uh, stay tuned with the future updates uh, you have to uh, also click on the bell icon so that you will continue to get the notifications 